Okay, YouTube gang, Mike J. Anthony here. In this video, we are going to set up a domain to use with the system.io email platform. And right now, I'm already logged in. And you're going to get to what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your profile icon over here and you're going to hit settings. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm in the settings from the profile icon. And then you're going to see profile settings. And, uh, you know, I have this notepad set up here because there's personal information there. And um, so because that's the profile settings. And then you can go down and hit account settings, manage my system.io system, system plan, payment gateways, manage my subscriptions, mailing settings. This is where you want to set up your email. Uh, I'll. I can do that for you in another video, but it's basically the same thing as domains pretty much. You just got to verify uh, an email address. Membership settings, uh, a lot of these you don't need if you're, unless you're going to have a membership site. Payment page settings if you're going to accept payments. Sales funnel settings. Affiliate program settings if you wanted an affiliate program. Domains, active campaign settings. That This is if you have a active campaign as an email platform and you want to uh, integrate that into here. I don't use that, so that's nothing I worry about, but just in case you're one of those that has that, that's where you go for that. Affiliate commissions, payment settings. Again, if you have an affiliate program, you can set up payments through there, through here. Notification settings, workspace members, change password. So I want to go to domains, and that's that's what I'm going to do. And uh, actually, actually, I think I'm already in domains. So now I know I'm in set domains. And um, so, okay, now I'm in domains. And we have a cup. Now, what you do is uh, I got one that's ready to use. This is the, um, the default one. So you can click this and you can edit the middle here, which I've already edited it to, to make it what I wanted to make. And then you hit save. And then you add another one. And then you put in the domain, it has to have a www. And then you save that. And I already have one here. And then it's going to come up with some instructions. And here they are. So now I need to put this in a DNS configuration. So I like to buy my domains on dynadot.com because they have um, very good priced domains. Uh, renewals especially because I, I don't like using GoDaddy because I used to use GoDaddy but I switched everything to Dynadot because GoDaddy yeah you can get the coupon that you know that they'll give you one year for a good price but then they jack up the price by double on the on the renewal whereas at Dynadot you don't really you don't get a uh, a discount so much but they never they don't raise your price on the on the renewal either so if I buy a domain for nine dollars and fifty cents on Dynadot, the renewal is most likely going to be nine dollars and fifty cents. Whereas on GoDaddy, if I buy a domain for ninety nine cents on the special discount, the next renewal is going to be twenty bucks. So, and not only that, but GoDaddy does not have sell side support in case I want to sell that domain at a later date. The Dynadot is also a broker, so they have sell side support as well in case I want to sell that domain later. So I like those things about Dynadot. So um, a lot of people don't know about it, though, but it's a great um, registrar and a great service. And I'm going to go over there right now because I got to edit that. So this is the Dynadot settings. So I'm in Dynadot. And what you do is you go down to subdomain records to put those in. So... What you do is you grab that, you copy, you put in subdomain records so that you can add something here. And I've already done that. Let me delete this. And then it tells me you to put this. So this is the host name and this is the value. So you would just copy that. 
you go over to the registrar where you register that domain and you put in the D, you go into the DNS. I'm in Dyna.DNS, DNS settings. So you can find those. Um, uh, when you go to your domain, you just select DNS settings and it'll take you into here. And then you have to go to subdomains here. You know, each registrar looks a little different, so depending on where you register that, but if you're going to register a Dynadot, and I'll put a link to this underneath the video, this is what it looks like. So then you want to add record, and you can, you can delete them and add them at will. And here's what I just had copied. Paste that there. And then there's another uh, setting it wants me to add. It wants me to add two records. So here's the second record. You really don't, you don't need that period on the end. Even if you did copy it, the registrar is going to delete it delete it automatically anyway so you can just copy that whole thing paste it in there and make sure you got it all and now once the so the, so it's the subdomain this is the target host value so the value I want to put in here is right here which is actually in this is a Amazon uh, AWS Amazon Web Services value. So there you go. You want to place that. And then you want to Okay. Can't see it, but it says save DNS here. So I'm going to save DNS. Okay, now that's saved. I can go back and look at that. Whoops, let me look at that again. Okay, yeah, so um, Dyna.DNS, I'm going to look at that. And I'm going to see the values that are saved here. And they are saved. So now all I have to do is leave that there until... System.io validates this. So now I can close that. So now it's going to sit here and say pending validation. So if it doesn't detect anything in two days, it just removes this entry. And you'll just have to go back and do it again. Uh, so that's how you start to set this up. And once this pending validation gets validated and verified, then I will be able to use this for my my custom domain rather than using the system dot io subdomain or domain domain with a subdomain that you choose because you can change the subdomain but I don't want to use system dot io I want to use my own so that's the whole reason for this and then now every time I send people to a, a funnel I can choose my own domain to use as opposed to system dot io's domain and that is it I will see you in the next video.